Hello Stationers, welcome to episode 7 of Vulcan Getting Started. Last episode we got the greenhouse mostly up and running. It's night time. One thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get more power. So I'm going to make a sensor so I can make a daylight sensor. Let's drop this off. Yeah, and we got that water there. Put this down. Don't need that. Let's make some actual solar panels. The ones that actually move around. Going to need some copper and I'm going to need some steel. I have some steel here. And we have some copper here. We'll just make a couple right now. That'll make three. Let's go put this sensor on the roof. So, since the solar panels are going to have the power and data connections facing north, we want this sensor to face east, which is that way. That will mean that the horizontal angle from the sensor and direct drive the horizontal angle of the panels. So we'll put that there. Uh, just thinking I can rescue some of that cable there. We'll go this way. Power the door from the other side. We don't have to power the door with heavy cables. And we can save all this heavy cable. Right. We need... Yeah, I cut into it. That's why it stopped. I think. Um, I was going to add another one here, too, on this end. So let's cut in here and go over. There. Oh. It's getting light out. Let's run out and get these installed. Uh, we don't want the dual, we want the regular one. Stick that there. And we have to adjust you. No, nope, that's not the wrench. There we go. And we have to adjust you to minus 90, it looks like. That's good. It's kind of the same angle. Good enough for now. And what do you need? You need a hand drill. Ooh, it's starting to get toasty. Alright. We need... That's not the dual, so that's good. And that's not the dual. Okay. Um... Why are you touching? Did I put that in the wrong place? I think I did. Let's take you apart. Okay. That's the right spot. Oh, so it's you. You're in the wrong spot. Uh, okay. Yep, that's better. Ooh, it's getting warm out here. 360 degrees, okay. No, we want negative 90. And negative 90. And then we want downwards. What are you at? 20. Yep, 
maybe 10. That's good. Let's get inside. It's getting so hot. Okay. And yeah, you're generating power. Yeah, that's good. About the same as that one. Okay, we're okay for now. Get rid of you two. Maybe I can sell you to the trader or something. I mean, realistically, maybe I should have just built regular solar panels the last couple times so we put some on the roof. But it's all right. Um, connect you. And we need power. That's good. What else is there? Um, getting low on food in our breathable spot, so let's just go in there with some more food. Since we're actually growing food now. Cancel, and let's put you in there. You're actually still pretty full. Eh, you're not going to last very long. Leave you on the floor. Okay. A little bit warm in here. Uh, nice and cool. Uh, you get 2.95. Let's top up the air. Use some of that. We won't actually need this air much anymore. We can use this as our backup air supply. Because the greenhouse is pretty soon going to be producing enough air for us. Or enough oxygen for us. You go in the middle. Okay. We're going to need to keep working on our hydroponics area in the greenhouse. We need another nine, I think. Close the fridge. Keep forgetting. Close the fridge. Uh huh. We need more gold and some copper. And we need some more steel to make some more solar panels. Uh, that's going to make one, I think, because of the steel. And we need one, two, three, it looks like. That's five, six, seven... Eight, nine, actually, that's all we need. Put you in there. Put you there. That's going to make two, I guess. Get some more steel. I think that'll be short, but... It's okay for now. And we got some gold still to smelt. There we go. And 30%. Hmm. All right, let's grab you, and we'll go inside. Mm -hmm. Let's 
get these down. Alrighty. Uh, so, got some tomatoes to harvest. If we're lucky, we might even have some soup in this episode. Good. Um, let's plant these with flowers. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll keep up the pattern. Although it seems like the pink or red, I guess it is, kind of clashes with the orange. I don't know. The trader gave me a poor selection of flowers. That's better. So that's 29. It's getting 30. I think with all these extra plants, I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to get warmer in here and you don't really want it to get too warm. Let's just let that run manually and keep filling up the room. And let's just go take this chip. We'll go outside and we'll adjust the set point temperature on it. Just bring it down a little bit. It's just a little too close to above 30 degrees for me. So remember, this is the set point in the pipe. So we got to keep the pipe a few degrees cooler than what we want the room. So let's make that say 27 approximately. Grab that, go back inside. that back in there turn it back on and now it should actually regulate that pipe a little bit colder and then the radiators will then help keep the room a little bit cooler so it's 30 degrees in here now uh how are those doing the one that's 57 or 60 hmm. i think that's good Maybe we can get back to doing the solar panels out here. Two, we needed three. We're out of copper. There we go. We're gonna need, um, for our oxygen, we're gonna need a back pressure regulator because we want to dump air out of where the oxygen's coming out of in the greenhouse into a tank. So we're gonna need an insulated tank to dump it into copper and steel. Copper, we need a 20 of steel. Get that building. Okay, let's go put these on the roof. Hmm, one's damaged. That's okay. non-dual 
That's yellow this time, so it's in the right spot. That's better. Um. Oh, that's the wrong tool. Minus 90. Minus 90. And minus 90. And come down to, let's say, 20. Good. What do you want? 10. Let's go up one. That's good. That's good. Put you there. And we're going to need some insulated pipes. Need some steel for that. I already have a few. Might need some more. Yep, that's good. Put you there, and let's paint you white since you'll have oxygen. That doesn't work on a pressure regulator for some reason. You have to actually have to put it in place to paint it. Let's paint you too. Good. Let's go throw these on the roof. And rotate you so the pipe is on the far side. Mm hmm. I guess we'll go this way. And then uh, maybe I'll place the race place the rest of those from inside. And uh, perhaps make use of the nighttime and do a little mining. Okay, that was only a couple minutes of mining. We've got enough materials to keep going though. But I almost ran out of jetpack juice, so let's fill up. Okay, seven. I don't want to blow it up. All right. And let's pick up this mess. And that one. We're going to need some solar tracking, so oh, we need some gold for that and some electrum. We have lots of gold, uh, electrums in a short supply, but this one has some, and I don't think I need anything else right now from here. It's only the analyzer I needed electrum for in there. Okay, that should make an IC10. So, you're making a chip. I guess we could write the code for the solar tracking. Uh, let's clear that out. So, we need the sensor, the daylight sensor, right? It's really the only device. Uh, we're going to address all of the solar panels uh, with the hash code. We're going to do a batch rate. Uh, let's get this running a uh, housing. Uh, I need steel. OK. 
Good. Now, we need... Oh, that's convenient. I was looking at it already. So just click on the prefab hash. That'll copy it to your clipboard. And then control V. There it is. And then we need our main loop. So start loop. And then at the end of the program, we yield. And then jump back to the start loop. So there's only two things we have to set on the solar panel. There's horizontal, which is the same as from the daylight sensor. So we load into R0 from the sensor, the horizontal variable. And then we do a batch set to the solar panel horizontal from register 0. That's it. The vertical is a little bit more complicated. It is 75 minus the vertical from the sensor, so the sensor. And then we have to divide all of that by 1.5. It's the magical formula. So we load sensor vertical into R0. We then have to subtract it from 75, so 75 minus R0 from the sensor. Then we have to divide that by 1.5. And then we have to do a batch set to all the solar panels, the vertical variable from our register 0. And that's it. That's the whole thing. And let's... Yeah, health low. Let's make a, another carbon dioxide filter. And in fact, um, I'm going to make two of them so I have a spare for in the greenhouse. And while we're here, we might as well make an oxygen one as well as a spare for the greenhouse. throw those in here so we don't forget them keep smelting there all right you are going to go up here attached to our power bus um, I need some way to mount it up there though I need some way to remove that frame not frame window and then stick it up as a wall up there and that'll give me somewhere to mount it turn you that way oh, I have just enough wire it seems And set D0 to the daylight sensor. Where is it in there? There it is. Grab the chip and put it in and turn it on. The light normally comes on. Uh, of course, there's no power there. That's not coming off the battery. Uh, where do we have power? We have power down here. Okay, well, we could throw it on this wall then. Since that heavy cable at the top, that's actually our, our input side of the battery. Oh. Okay, I guess I have to remove you. Good. Uh-huh. Probably want you two back. And there we go. Now, uh, it's going to.
kind of suck we have to put it this way it's upside down at least it's out of sight That's better. Uh, I have to set that up again. Daylight sensor. Good. And that should be it. Now we've got power and, okay, we're at 99%. 743, yeah, that's, that's good. That's lots of power. Now we're charging. Good. Let's throw that in there. Uh huh. That's funny. Insulated pipe again. That's where I keep my insulated pipe in the furnace. I'm kind of dying here. Now that I'm actually making oxygen and can make more water, it's really no good reason to to uh, keep rationing the water, but it's kind of convenient to stay outside longer. Okay. Let's go back. some gold while I was mining last night. And let's just split this in half again. Still got some heat in there. It's good. Throw the other one in. It's starting to get cooler. Okay, you don't need to be on, still seem to have some juice in the battery, 80%, hmm, it must be because they're in shadow as they, uh, as the sun starts to go down, or they can't get all the way down to the right angle. Uh -huh. Let's go in here. See what the temperature looks like in here. 31, it did warm up a little bit. It's those extra plants. Okay, put oxygen over with the oxygen. And carbon dioxide here. How are you doing? 75. You're 57 and 100. Okay. You've actually got quite a bit in there now. Yeah. That's good. We're actually net oxygen positive. That's nice. Harvest my least favorite fruit. Tomatoes. But I'll eat what I got. And let's bring that pipe that we put out there over here. And we'll come down. Yep, that's down. And out. Mm hmm. Let's 
see how we're doing here. 31.4 ED KPA, nothing in there. Temperature is still a bit hot. I wonder if we turn this down a bit. That'll inject cooler air into there. Yeah, because it's sitting at 301 even though it's supposed to be below 300. Or about 300. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll keep going over here. I need this. Turn it 180 degrees and it needs to be a back pressure regulator. Now the pressure... Well, I didn't bring my little labeler, so let's crank it all the way up. Somewhere around 7,000 kPa is pretty good. That won't burst the canister if we put it in there. Good. And let's remove that. We won't lose the oxygen because it'll go into the other one. And then we'll make... This one go here and there. No reason to use insulated pipes, but that's what I got. So on this other side, just connect that up. Right. So we need power. Now we could come this way. Oops. Um, but we can't go straight out there. We'll have to turn, then turn again, and then bring it over. Aha! Uh -huh. 3.6. Kind of feels wasteful to turn this on now, but that's fine. I don't like to run a back pressure regulator, re regulator all the time. We take like 100 watts. But, safety first. Um, 31.2, that's down a little bit. It was 31.4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, oh, yeah. Let's take this radiator off. Um, both of those radiators are... They look like they're in the same grid space so they're not really as efficient let's extend this since we got the extra pipe and let's throw that on there and now they're in two different grid spaces maybe that'll help keep it a little cooler i don't know 299 that's better yeah that's good and how are you doing? Are you keeping up? Oh yeah, 30 MPa. So the outside air is keeping up well. It's got three active vents, so that's not a surprise. Mm-hmm. Remember to throw the tomatoes in there. Uh -huh. Let's try out the new microwave. Throw a can in there. It's funny, I thought I had more cans. Okay, and tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we need ten. Two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Good. Close the door. Here we go. Success. That's nice. Good. It just makes me feel good to have made soup. All right. You're empty, and you're not full. Start you filling. Uh, you're still doing okay for hydrogen. And 
Oxygen from the greenhouse. That's nice. Swamp you. Yeah. So this area over here, I would eventually like to move the water production over there. Hmm. You're turning. That's good. Don't have any more frames. Let's make some iron frames. We'll need at least three of them. Start making another platform out there. And throw this in here. This is the main spot, and then put this on this side, and one on the other side. Oops. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, should eventually connect it, but for right now it's okay. Not empty. Let's crank you up. Now you're empty. Hydration critical. And you're full. Good. Okay, you can go there. You'll notice my health is still at 99. I actually took a bit of damage there that one time. Would need a medical pill to fix it. I don't feel like I want to heal that. I don't want to waste my medical pill. I have to wait until I can make some ferns. Or grow some ferns. Alright. Tomatoes are done again. Definitely want to keep my food supply up for a bit. Replenish. Uh, you're looking good. 30 degrees in here. It's come down a degree. That's good. Uh, you're 74. Everything here looks good. Oh, that's actually uh, getting a bit higher. Refill that. keep forgetting to bring the water in here. I don't really need it, but I'd like to just top it up so I don't have to worry about it again. Uh -huh. Let's just put those in here and I won't forget it next time. Uh -huh. You know, what I was thinking was, I wanted another set of stairs out front here. Let's get that going. And we had these extra railings. Let's pretty up the front a little bit. Not that pretty. Like industrial pretty. There we go. Stairs. 
Oh, it's starting to get light. Okay. Here, but with the railing. Good. I think we need at least one more. No, I think we need two more, given the height. Uh, that needs a railing, too. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Look at those turned towards the sun. Nice. And that's all. Just throw this at the bottom. And no railings on this one. So we can get on and off of it. That's nice. That's better. Yeah. Let's get back inside. Starting to make power already. Uh, which is good. Yeah. That's alright. Forgot to put these tomatoes away. Just kind of keep them in order so we know. If you combine them, then it combines the damage on them, I think. Uh, good. Well, uh, that's the end of se episode 7, and uh, we'll continue working on our oxygen stuff next time. Thanks, make sure you subscribe.